news from up north. Another threat surfaces in Kashmir's Sopor region. Newsex has access to letter which has targeted non-local laborers in the valley and threatens them to leave Sopor or face death. While the police are still checking the veracity of this letter and no militant group has yet taken responsibility, the letter has created panic among the non-local laborers and many are contemplating leaving the town. What's worrying is that there is the third threat which has surfaced in Sopor in last one month. Earlier posters were put up in the valley threatening action if telecom services weren't halted. Militants have also been targeting civilians in Sopor with six deaths so far in just one month. Following a series of killings and violent incidences in Sopor, now a mysterious letter has surfaced which has warned non-local laborers to leave the area within next three days or face consequences. This letter was handed over to the imam or the head preacher of a local Jamia mosque in the townships, uh, you know, Jamia mosque in Sopor and he was asked to announce the details of what was written in this letter. It's a handwritten letter without any sign-offs from any militant outfit. It has even asked the local residents who have given out spaces uh, on rent to these non-local people to dislodge them within next three days or be ready for the consequences. The letter alleges that these non-local people are part of the intelligence gathering network of the security forces and hence should leave the place immediately. The police, of course, has taken cognizance of the matter and they have initiated investigations to try and figure out who could be behind this particular letter. They have even mapped the vulnerable areas and the security has been beefed up to ensure the safety and security of all concerned. With the regional Mr. Simon Soel Bukhari, Srinagar, NewsX. In fact, Soel Bukhari is now joining us live with the latest input uh, from uh, Srinagar on this story. Uh, Soel, like you were pointing out in your ground report, Sopor has been quite volatile in the past few months we have seen. Uh, tell us, how is this latest threat being viewed by the government? Any word from the administration at all? Well, basically, you know, this threat is to be seen in the backdrop of what has been happening in Sopor over the last month or so. We saw uh, some, uh, you know, new uh, so-called militant outfits uh, with uh, names like uh, lashkar -e islam coming out with posters asking the telecom operators to shut their business or else be ready for the consequences. Later on, we saw attacks on mobile towers and even people associated directly or indirectly with telecommunication were targeted. Six killings have taken place in Sopor. And uh, the interesting thing is that nobody is ready to take the responsibility. While the security agencies say it's the handiwork of the militants, on the other hand, no less than the United Jihad Council Chief Said Salahuddin and even the top separatist leadership is accusing the intelligence agencies of the government for being responsible for, the, for what is happening in Sopor. So in that backdrop, yet another mysterious letter is only uh, creating more trouble. In this case, of course, as you mentioned, there's absolutely no signing off from any militant outfit. This has come on Tuesday evening. We are told that this letter was handed over by some unidentified people to the uh, head priest or the imam of the local Jamia Mosque in Sopor asked him to, you know, announce the details of what was written and it was very categoric in its writing saying that, well, uh, uh, the local laborers must leave this area and uh, people who are giving them shelters, who are given their uh, spaces on rent to these people must ensure that these people okay. leave within the next three days or else they would be killed and anyone who has disobeyed the diktats earlier has had uh, to, to meet the fate. So this definitely has created okay, I'm some afraid kind we'll of have to interrupt you there, uh, Suhail, because we're running out of time uh, for this moment. But uh, thanks very much for joining us with those details.